Hey guys, welcome to another painting tutorial with Texas Gamer Geeks. It's Sean here. And as you can see, this time we are painting Drop Fleet Commander. We're going to do the Scourge starter set. Uh, you get this in the two player starter box or just the fleet by itself. Um, it's a very simple technique. Painted it all up in one evening. Got all uh, of the ships done, the cruisers and the uh, frigates. And uh, well, let's get started. I'll show you exactly what I did. It's pretty simple. This is the, the model as itself before it's painted, before it's primed. It's the natural color, uh, the whitish plastic. Uh, very nice, very great detailed models. What I've done is gone ahead and primed the entire model with the plate mail silver from Army Painter, which is going to give us our base coat. Make sure you get a good coat all the way around the model. So on our frigate here, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take Nuln Oil. Now usually I use Army Painter. Nuln Oil is the one I had the big pot of, so just use that, otherwise you would use the dark tone from Army Painter. But you want to cover the model all the way around, make sure you get it in all the crevices, all the detail. Make sure you get it all the way around, underneath, behind. Here we're doing the same thing with the cruiser. Cruiser you need to be a little careful with. Um, it's a big model, uh, so the, do one section, make sure you get it really good, don't let it pull before you move on to the next one reason you want to do that is it's a large model by the time you get all the way around the model it may start to dry and cause problems for you okay so here's the model completely covered uh, all painted up in non oil as you can see he's dry let it dry for about an hour and now what we're going to do is we're going to take a little bit of the plate mail uh, silver water it down a little bit so it'll flow nice and easy and we're just going to paint in the, the solid areas like you see here just to help bring that silver back out. We don't want to get it down to the crevices. We want the shading in the crevices, um, but we want to bring the highlighted areas out because we're going to color those in a little bit. And you don't want the color to go on to a dark area, otherwise it'll just make it dark. So all this, all the silver, as you can see the gleam from the light, you'll know exactly where where to put this same thing on the cruiser you can see it's it's very light um, it's just enough to bring back up this the, from the darkness back up to the bright silver Okay, once that has completely dried, what I've done is I've taken the purple tone from the Army Painter and watered it down about 50-50, maybe 60-40 with the water leading. And we're going to paint it into those same, those flat surfaces or that we want to be highlighted with the color. I've done, uh, as you can see here, what we've done, I've taken the purple and you'll see next to the purple on the palette, I also have the red tone. Water down about the same. We're going to use that for the engines here towards the end. But you see, you're just going to hit all the high points. You're not going to get it down in the crevices. You just want to hit the high points very lightly. It's really more of a, it's silver with a hint of purple. And we've done, as you can see in the beginning video, there's different colors all the way around. But what I've done is I've taken each of the squadrons or each of the, the fleets and made them their different color. I'm using this for demo so it'll be easier for people to keep track of which models are which. I use the red tone just on the engines. Just get on your brush, cover the engines well. It may take two coats. Let the first one dry if you want it darker. Come back and do it again. You can see the purple has pretty much dried and you just have a light hint. I'll come back and I'll do another coat on this and you'll see the final product uh, at the end of the video. To do the red lenses, here I'm using GW's Blood for the Blood God. Um, great technical paint for giving a really, really deep, uh, glossy red to the model. Um, just doing the, the lenses, the eyes is basically what they look like. And make sure you get it all the way around on it. It uh, really brings out the model helps it to, helps those eyes to stand out in contrast and here's the whole fleet um, we just use different different colors different uh, for each one we used the green tone the purple tone 
Um, But there you go, just a, a hint on the highlighted areas. You can see the red engines in the back. There you go guys, uh, very simple. Straight primer, um, wash with known oil or dark tone, and then two washes, and you're done. You can do much more detail on these if you want. The models that come uh, are pictured uh, in the book and on the box are outstanding. I'm not that good. I don't have those techniques down, um, but this I liked. It came out good. They were very quick and easy to do. Anyway, hope this helped. Get your get your models ready for the table, and uh, happy gaming. Uh, click like below and let us know what you think.